I love that video. Uh, you guys do such a good job on that. Aw, thank you. Well, we're having fun. We're learning with so many new educators from all over, like in different places. So it's been great for Nivella to get yeah. connected. You guys are killing it. Aw, thanks, George. Okay. All so, right. Yeah. So what do you want to talk to us about okay. today? All right. So what I want to talk about is um, Chromebooks. So if you have Chromebooks, people look at Chromebooks. When I give a teacher a Chromebook, a lot of times they're like, oh, a Chromebook. And I give a kid a Chromebook, they're like, oh, it's a Chromebook. But what I want to show you is basically how we do video editing on a Chromebook. So it's a powerful device if we use the right tool. So what I want to give you is a tool that we use. We basically call it iMovie for Chromebook. So how we can create quickly. I'm going to give you a website that I use to teach the kids how to do it. So I'm going to show you. And I know I'm going to go fast because I'm so excited about it, but I also have a video there that you can go back and watch. So you have this video that has everything, and then you have on the website the shorter videos because we can edit. Now, if you don't think video works right now, all your kids, I don't care where they're from in the world, they know what this is. And the reason they're engaged, if they want to know better how to play this game, is they got to go online. So right now, when they go and watch these videos, well, how are those videos made? So I want to show you how we can quickly do our own videos. So when the kids get excited about it, it's because you have the ability to make it engaging. So I want you to know, we want to make today's videos to be, how can I do that on my Chromebook, on the device that you have in your hands? How can you make it work for you? Awesome. Now. So today I'm going to get, am I good to go? Am I good to get started? Yeah. Okay. Take it away. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to do something a little bit different. So let me share my screen and show you how I'm going to do this. I have been using Zoom uh, to go into the screen and show you guys, but today it's all Chromebook. So today I'm going to show you um, right now on this, you notice I'm not here. If you've been with me, I'm always on screen. Today I'm going to model how I do this on a Chromebook. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to screen, Castify. It's an app. It's an extension. Sorry. It's an extension you get. And today what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a browser tab. I'm going to make sure my microphone's on so I have the recording. And I want to make sure the embed webcam is on. And I'm going to hit record so I can get started. Now, again, you always start out in the corner like you normally do. But remember, we can move ourselves around it. Now, if you do a Chrome browser tab, you can also do some cool things. I can make myself really thin and be like a novella, dun, dun, dun. Did you know you can do this? I can make myself bigger, I can make myself smaller, or I can just keep myself as I've been. It's just a human mouse. Now, to show you where all this information is, we're gonna go up here to this website. So bit.loi, we video for all. So right now, this is where I'm gonna give you everything. I'm going to work with everything that I do today. I'm going to work from here. I'm going to start. I'm not going to show you this one because we already talked about how can we use YouTube in the classroom. I'm going to make sure you know where this button is. But right now, I'm not going to have you log in. And I usually help you set up an account. But right now, you're here. But I'm going to show you the effects we can do in we video with green screen, how to do an Instagram effect, and then how to finish with the Ken Burns effect. Now, if you want to use we video, you can actually sign up. I linked it here so you can click on it. If you want, they're giving out the till June 30th. It's free. Everything I'm going to show you, you can use it. I'm going to tell you, though, if you want to pay for it to, for each kid to have their license, it is really cheap. It's about five bucks per student, I believe, or uh, I don't know how many pesos or whatever money currency, but the United States, it's five dollars for every student to have one. So right now, no, it's free right now, but know that it usually is a charge. But again, it's so cheap and what it gives us is so powerful. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure you know where I'm going. So remember, the YouTube stuff here is with stuff I already shared for you. So if you click on here, you'll notice I give you the slide deck for Edpuzzle and for uh, the thing that we did. So right now, remember, using YouTube is here. Um, getting started right here is where you need to go if you need to sign up for an account. But what I'm going to show you is how we do this. Now, I'm going to go through and I'm going to go through green screen first. So right now I'm going to talk about how we use we video in the classroom and the time that I have with you. This is a slide deck here. And then if you go down to the bottom, here's a video that shows everything that I'm about to do. Now, one thing with uh, uh, Screencastify, for me to have the effect to do this, to make it longer and to be able to size myself, like to be able to make myself a little more interactive, I did same thing was called browser tab. 
So if you guys look up here on the browser tab, up at recording, there's a little uh, square. It means that it's only recording this. So when I go to another tab, I'm, you're going to lose me as a person. No, I'm still with you, but know that this guy is not going to follow me. So this is one of the things I like and dislike about this. It gives me some cool be able to move, but it doesn't follow me from screen to screen like I did with the Zoom one. OK, so right now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to WeVideo and show you where the buttons are and show you how we can do this. So right now I'm going to swipe and you're going to lose me, but I'm just going to demo what we're going to do. I'm going to go to just WeVideo.com. So I'm just going to type in WeVideo.com. And then what I'm going to use here is I'm going to use the option to sign in with my Google account. So right now I'm going to click on here to sign in with my Google account. And then it's going to go through. And since I've already gone through the sign up process that I have for you, it logs me in. The options I have right here on this is right now, I want you to know we can do a couple things. We're going to work only on the video part. So on the video part is what we're working on. So this is the video part right here. We can also do our own screen recording. And this is new, but we're not going to jump into it. But if you want to create your own GIF, you can do it in here. I'm going to go to video. So I'm going to click on video. And in video, it's going to open this up. So now here I am jumping into the video part of WeVideo, and I'm going to make sure if you're working with young kids, I want you to know one thing. If you're working for young kids, this part down here might be a little overwhelming with them looking at and going video, the timeline down here. My mouse is kind of freaking out a little bit, but right now down here where it says timeline, that might be overwhelming for kids at the beginning. So if you're working for uh, young kids up here, where's the three tortillas is what we call it up here. If you click on the three tortillas, you have an option down here that says switch to storyboard. I'm just going to show you this. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this because it's so easy. If you switch to storyboard, what's going to happen is you lost all that timeline and you have just one straight line. So right now, here's some pictures from our school. So right now, what I'm going to do just to show you how quickly I can do this. I can drag them and just drop them in here and say, you know what? I want these in here. So I just drop them in there. Um, I click on this and get rid of the trash can. But right now I can just click and drop by clicking on the picture. I can drop a bunch of pictures of our kids in here. It can be videos. It can be so like, here's a video. I can drop in videos. I can drop in whatever I want, but I can just drop it quickly by doing that. So right now you'll notice that in this one, the Wii video does it for you. It's super fast and you're able to create the video just by clicking on that and you can do that. Now, let me go and show you the options here on the left. If you're going to do storyboard, you can answer your voice. So I can go in here. I say, you know what? I want to make a recording so I can put it into my video. So it's going to turn on my microphone and I'm going to say allow. And then I'm going to click on the microphone and then three, two, one. This is a video of my students in class and the things that they do. And I love this and my job is really cool and la, 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 la. And I'm going to hit stop. And then now I'm going to hit the check mark and it just dropped the video. It dropped my voice into the video. So if you want to put pictures of a book or you want to do some teaching, now I want to hit play. They'll go through. This is a video of my students in class and the things that they do. And I. so right now you can drop it in there. Now, again, I'm only showing you storyboard because it doesn't take a lot of work. But if you're working for younger kids, you have that. Now, the second one you have right here, the second one you have right here, the little uh, uh, music icon. If I click on the music icon, I can drop in music. So right now I have a voiceover. I'm going to use this track. And now I have this. This is a video of my students in class and the things that they do. And I love this. And my job. So now I can immediately just drop things in there just like that by doing that. I'm going to click back on dashboard and click save and exit. And what I just did is I was able to drop pictures quickly to create something from scratch without spending a lot of time. I'm going to go back into video. And remember, the video I'm sharing with you has some of that detailed stuff in there. Right now, I went back. You notice that I'm back in storyboard because when I clicked on the three tortillas, right now, it gave me the option to go to storyboard down here. Now, this time, I'm going to go to timeline, which is the more powerful one. So the reason I showed you storyboard first was just that you can drag them, the pictures in there. You can put music right from the get-go, and you can get started. But when I switch to timeline now, now we have power. We have more control.
Now, to show you what all the options happen on the top, and again, the, the page that I gave you has all these things for you so you guys can see them, is I'm going to go right here from the top where it says stock media up here. This is your Google search of all the stuff you want. So if I click on this, you notice right now, this is all free stuff that you can use. So for instance, if I wanted to come up here and see how it just went to science, let's type in, um, let's, do, let's do a bear project. So I'm gonna type in bear and then I'm gonna hit enter. And then it's what it's gonna do is gonna look for all these things of bears that I can use. So right now, notice it says all up here. It says all because when I click on it, I can do all videos. So show me only bear videos that I can use. If I want images of bears, here are just images of bears that I can use. And then if I click on the last one, I just want bear sounds. Here's some audio that I can use of bears. And then again, if I click on all, I get them all. Now notice that this is called stock media. Stock media means you can put this on YouTube and it won't be taken down because this is free to use that we video gives you. So right now, sometimes you might put a, a video from National Geographic that you want to put inside your video that you don't own. You put that on YouTube and YouTube flags it, it gets taken down. On stock footage, you can stock media. The kids can create their own reports really quickly by using actual footage of bears. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a couple of these. I'm going to type in, uh, I'm going to put on video one. I'm going to put in bears. Uh, let's put another picture of a bear. So here's another. And all I'm doing is I'm dragging and I'm dropping it. And now what I just did is I put some bears into my project. So right now here's a bear walking through. Here's another picture of bear. And again, you guys know right now this makes it the report a lot better because the kid can talk over this. Now, remember, in the beginning when I showed you this, over here, there were options. There was like a microphone, and there was the music option here. They In timeline, they're not here. In timeline, they're up here. So right now, you'll notice here's audio. Okay, so there, there's audio right there. You can add music. This stock footage, I want you to just think of this. When I, when I show you the video that I gave you, I call stock footage your Google search. So you can put stuff in there. Under my media, when I click on it, it's stuff that I uploaded. So here are all the stuff that I've used that I create videos in here. I uploaded this stuff here. And then you'll notice up here, there's a couple options. I can record. Well, what can I record? Let's click the button. When I click record, I can record from my webcam that's recording me right now. I can do a screen recording or I can do screen and webcam. So it does both of them. So it puts me in there and it's basically called embed. So right now, know that one is when you show up in the corner and you're on there. So you have these options by clicking on My Media. And on My Media, there's the Record button. Now, what does Narrate mean? If you click on this button, it turns on your microphone. And now I can talk over, and it's like a National Geographic video of bears. The kids can give the report as the bears moving across. They could be going like in bears. Their, uh, their habitats are in North or whatever America, whatever you want to say. You could talk by clicking narrate. It goes into the microphone. So you'll notice it looks exactly the same as before. Here's my microphone icon. And I click on the microphone, and I talk and it adds my stuff to the to the clip that I just had. So under my media, you can record and you can narrate. I'm gonna click out of here, get check. So record and narrate are there. Now, because we're using WeVideo on a Chromebook, WeVideo on a Chromebook means you have to upload all your content. So when I hit import, notice that I can browse media here from my, from my Chrome browser. Uh, if I download video, I can put it in here, but the magic one is right here. I can load directly from my drive. So I can link that stuff I have on my drive. I can put it right in here from my drive. And then these are all the options that are turned on. But right now, this is the one that's the biggest one is you can load directly from your drive. And when you click on that, you import it right to your, uh, your My Media. And then this is where the stuff has to be. So this is why you can do video editing on a Chromebook is you can do it by uploading in here. Now, again, let me just go through the options. The video I gave you has all these things in here. Right now, these are all the things you can do. Now, if you've ever used iMovie, iMovie has like a basic, I think it's 11 that really are simple. But right now, here are all the different ones. So let's use one that stands out a little bit. I'm going to make a bear project. I'm going to drop it down here. 
I'm going to make sure that it pushes everything, insert and push, pushes everything over. And now in here, if I double click, I can edit. So right now I'm going to do top text. I'm going to say my uh, uh, bear, and then I'm going to type in project. So if you notice, wherever uh, the thing is coming up, it changes. Now let's see what this looks like. So I'm going to go back. Notice that if you used iMovie, how much better this looks. So right now, my bear project. And I just by that, I was able to customize it. And you can also customize the colors. But right now, by having save changes, now my video project starts with that whole thing. My bear project. And then all of a sudden, my bear project starts. And then I'm able to go and then I have all these cool things happening. So right now, no, under text, you have these things called motion that are amazing. Now, if you go static, these are the basic ones you see all the time. So this one I do at the end. This is where we do the end credits, who was in the movie, who was part of it. I make sure the kids learn how to do citations. So make sure if we use any footage from somewhere or we find it, we give credit for it right over here. And then in season, remember, this is only like some of these one like Happy Independence Day. No, this is like Happy Fourth of July. Like it's not it, these are North American, uh, uh, I mean, U.S. Uh, holidays. So I know when I show this around, people are like, what is Fourth of July? It's a holiday that people shoot fireworks. So, but right now you have Halloween or the ones that I really like, to be honest with you, that I think are really amazing are the ones they have for Father's Day. So right now here's a Father's Day um, one. You click on this. You have you're my hero. And then you have the Mother's Day one, uh, which are pretty cool, too. Here you have the Mother's Day. You can go through it. And just like before, you can double click when you drop it in and you can edit to make it say anything you want. So know that you can use these for a lot of different things. And those are called in season. Callouts are things that you can add to make sure like you point things out. So let me drop it right here. Now that I have this call out in here, I'm going to double click. And then I can move what I want. So let's say I wanted you to show I wanted to show the bear, but I also wanted you to pay attention to what this bird is doing, which is, I'm assuming is a bird. So right here, here's a bird, and I'm gonna hit save changes. So when my video gets to here, let's see how this works. When my video gets to here, you can have that. So like look at that bird or what's happening, something you want the people to point out. Sometimes my kids use this on maps, so they'll put in a picture of a map. And then they'll add the arrows to say, you know, this is important. Right now you have a text box ones. You have circles to highlight certain things. You have all these, and these are called callouts. Now, audio, pretty simple, straightforward. Audio, you have music. You have sound effects. So right now, let's say right here, sound effects. Let's go animals. In animals, let's look for uh, barking and growling. So right now, I'm going to put this here in the background so now when my video starts okay it may not make sense because it doesn't fit the bear but right now you can see how quickly you can add those things to make those effects and those are in audio now one thing hopefully you guys noticed is that i'm dropping things in different files i wonder why it won't let me get that left part of the screen so right now pay attention over here hopefully this is bigger for you guys see how this says video two video one and audio one right now i want to make sure you know i need to add the first effect so in the time i have with you i'm going to show you how we did the first effect that i'm going to show you that i think is pretty powerful in my slide deck right now i'm going to show you how to do the green screen so i'm going to follow all this stuff in the green screen to show you how to do that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create my own green screen video i'm going to go to stock footage and here i'm going to type in green screen oops not there green screen. So I'm just going to type in green screen. And what it's going to happen is because this is stock footage, it's going to give me a bunch of options. So let's go right now. Let's have this girl right here. I love using this girl right here because she's uh, kind of a cool thing to use for this illustration. So notice right now I'm dropping her on video two. Right now, I want you to think of this as a pizza. I teach this as a pizza. The first layer is your dough. So the first layer of my dough I'm going to go through and I'm going to type in um, mountains. I'm going to make the picture be my first layer. So let's get this beautiful picture of mountains. And because this is the first layer, this is my background. So right now I have this background photo. Now, the second layer is your sauce that you put on top of the pizza. So right now what's going to happen is when I drop this on the bottom layer, I want to make this longer so it matches. When I drop this on the top layer, notice right now the sauce covers the dough. But here's the magic of green screen. 
I'm going to tell you to double click on anything to get options. When you get options in my in my instructions, you're going to see right now that I tell you to click on the person in the box. That's color keying. I want you to take the eyedropper and I want you to eliminate the color you want from the, the picture to be gone. And now what you have right now is you have this person right here walking. Now you guys know right now this is fake. That's not real. But now you saw how to do the green screen effect quickly within we video. Now let's do a couple of things. Right now the proportions are wrong. She's giant. So right now if you see this person, she's like a superhero how big she is compared to him. So let's make her smaller. The first button is always options. So right now I have one's called transform. I have one that's called animation. I can make her move more than she's doing already. This one is your uh, color one, so you can mess with this. I usually don't. And the last one is if you want things to go faster. But right now, the one I want to change is the transform. And right now, I'm going to pick that she's smaller. I can move this over here more so I can see where she's going to walk. So right now, I don't see her. So I made it smaller. Let's make it even smaller. And if you notice right now, the frame shows me where she's going to walk into. And then I can move the frame to fit where I want. So right now, I don't want to see that her legs are cut off. So I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to click Save Changes. And now in my video, she's not like a humongous person walking across the screen. So there she is, and she's coming in. And she shouldn't have been wearing shorts because it's snow. But right now, I just wanted to show you the highlight on how we did that. Let's do one more green screen effect. Now, this is the part that I love. Right now, you'll notice there's one audio, one video, two video. If I click on the plus over here on the left, if I click on the plus, what can I do? I can add another video or another audio. I'm going to select another video and click add track. Now, by doing this, now I have another track that I can do. So let's give this some love. So again, I'm going to type in green screen. This is the easiest way to do this to show them that I have all these effects in here. Let's look for a green screen effect that makes it pop. The one the kids love is the one that you see um, sometimes on Facebook is the thumbs up and likes. So right now I'm just scrolling through all the green screen effects. So right now, I don't know if I missed it. Let's see if it was it towards the top maybe. So right now here, let's go green screen. Let's do likes. And again, I want you to think of this as a, as a, as a Google search. You just keep typing. Let's give it likes first. So I'm going to click on this, drag it down. And then right now when I hit play here, it's going to cover everything. It's going to cover everything because now this is the dough, this is the sauce, and now this is the cheese. So layer three is the cheese. How do I get rid of the green screen? I have to double click to get to this screen. And then right now, if I wanted to transform it, I can make it smaller. I can make it that I don't want you to look at the number, so I can make it that it goes off. I just want you to look at the likes. So right now, there are the likes. Um, actually would make this a little bit bigger so it goes all the way to the top. It's going to look funny when uh, um, it doesn't like it. There you go. Okay, so right now all these are going to go up here. I'm going to go to the person in the box. And in the person in the box, I'm going to click on the eyedropper. And I'm going to select the color I want to eliminate, which is green. And now I have these likes here. Now I'm going to tell you, I'm, a, I'm pretty picky. You can see a little bit of the green right here. So what I can do, and this is called defringe, is I can move it. And then I can show, like right now, I can make it go more, I can make it go away. But notice right now, it went back a little bit. I just mess with these two. Now I know there's some like real video production thing that I'm doing. I just move it, I tell the kids to move it until you can't see green anymore. And now it's a little bit cleaner, but again, you just mess with that. I click save changes, and now my video is gonna have this, and it's gonna go through, and it's gonna have these effects happening right here, and I have a bunch of likes going through. Now, I'm going to tell you, you can keep going. You can keep going. Let's add another one, and you can keep adding more and more and more, and you're layering it on top and top and top. Now, I'm going to tell you, the hint I have for you, think of layers as azúcar. Too much azúcar will kill you. So make sure you just give it a little bit of sugar, not a lot. If you keep adding more and more green screen, you're going to tell it's fake. So right now, no, you got to pay attention how this works. Let me do one more so you guys can make sure you know the green screen effect and my instructions in the video shows this one. Let's do one more and let's give this girl a little thumbs up from this other girl right here. So this other girl right here is gonna give her a thumbs up. There she goes, thumbs up. Now let's eliminate again, double click. 
eyedropper under the person under the box and eliminate that. Now, here's a problem with this video. One, yes, of course, she's giant. But right now, when she gives all this love here, she is on top of everything. Actually, let's move her more so I can double click. And then when I come in here, oops, go to transform. And in transform, let's make her a little smaller first because she's gin ginormous. And then I can move her where I want her. I'm going to put her literally right on top of her so you guys can see how the mistake I made. So now when she's here, she's covering that. Now, this is something I like doing with the kids. They know what they understand the pizza analogy. Because the girl here is on the bottom layer, everything I put on top covers her. So right now, if you notice right here in the video, when I get to here, you'll notice that she is being covered by the other girl. Now, this is something I show the kids to talk about how layers work. I move the girls. So I move this girl here and I put the girl that's backpacking on the top. Now, what's going to happen now is I change the layer. So now watch, the girl's gonna pop up that's giving the thumbs up, but look at the girl now, she's in front of her. And the reason that works is because this is how it goes. The, the dough is on the bottom, the sauce is right here, the cheese is here, and now she's the pepperoni or whatever topping you wanna think of, but I go through that. Now, if you're wondering, this guy must really like pizza, this is the way I did this in the slideshow. When I show it to you, I literally talk about, here's the dough. So remember the slide deck is for you. Here's the dough, here's the sauce. And I tell you all those instructions I just said, my little guy here is telling you how to do it. Click on that and you're able to go through that whole thing. All right, let's go the Instagram effect. I got 15 minutes with you. I want you to know what all the buttons do. The Instagram effect, let me clean this up. We have, let's get rid of this girl. I'm just click and just hit delete, or I can click and hit on the trash can. So when I go through and double, oops, when I click on something, the trash can is on top. Oops, don't delete that. So right now I click delete, and let's bring the girl back to this layer here on layer two. Okay, so now we have this girl walking this way, okay? Now the Instagram effect that we're gonna do is I'm gonna cheat. I'm just gonna go control C. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move it to the end so I can make a copy. I'm gonna go Control V and I'm gonna copy the same thing. Now I'm gonna have the two girls here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click again. And what I'm gonna do this time with the second clip is I'm gonna have her walking from the other way. So let's see if this worked. So right now I want one girl walking on one side, the other girl walking on the other. They're too close together. So let's move her walking from this side over here, okay? So right now, I'm gonna hit Save Changes, and I wanna show you how this works. Right now, they're the exact same thing, walking, and one one's walking from one direction, and they kinda of look at each other. I love using this for this analogy. Now, the Instagram effect is this. This is why we call it Instagram. See where it says FX right here? The pencil is where I double-click to edit. The FX, if I click on it, it takes me to a different menu that has some power. I'm gonna make it black and white. So right now I'm gonna click black and white and hit apply. And now notice what's gonna happen in this video. The one girl on the left is in color. The other girl on the right is gonna be in black and white. Now what we've done with this is we had the kids record themselves. One of their one version one is in color. The other version is in black and white. And they'll have conversations with each other about like their past. Because when a character is in black and white, it's kind of like that you're in the old time. You're in another time. Now to do that one more time, is I clicked on whatever object I want, and then I can make it in uh, FX, and I can make it black and white. Um, I can make it all these different options here, but black and the white is one I use. Another one that I've done also, you can also do this when you click on an image, FX, and on the image, let's say I don't wanna show you the image, I can make the image, let's make the image blurry. And so now look at the effect that I just did. Now, right now, notice the image right here, it's blurry and the two people are here. So you can do, I mean, all those images, we call it Instagram because in Instagram, you can make your pictures look all beautiful. In the FX button, you can do all that. Now, if you're wondering, George, on this style of that, remember where I told you at the top, we have Instagram. If you click on Instagram, Instagram will take you to the Instagram section, which is how we did the FX. So right here is the FX. And then again, if you're like, hey, where's the video? Here's the video that I did. Now to give you the example that I love with this one, let's make a novella. So right now I'm gonna click on, let's start from scratch, you guys can see this. I'm gonna click on dashboard. On dashboard I come out, I'm gonna click on video to start from scratch and let's start a novella. So here's what we're gonna do. 
I'm going to start with stock footage or stock media. And now I'm going to go is I'm going to type in a uh, girl in Paris. And then I'm going to look for uh, the one that I love. I think it's this one. The kids love this one. So I'm going to drop this one in here. I'm going to put it on video one. So here's this girl in Paris walking around. She's going to be the part, part of our novella. She's over here all happy, looking like this in the Eiffel Tower, romantic. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look the opposite of girl in Paris. I'm going to say uh, sad guy crying. And then here I'm looking for how bad is this guy? Okay, let's do uh, let's do sad guy. Crying is a little too much right now. Let's do sad guy. Let's see a guy that looked with regret. I want a guy that's looking up the window. <laughs> okay, this one. All right, so here's what's going to happen. We're going to have him on top, girl on the bottom here on the layer one, video two right here. Now, the reason you don't see the girl is because this is not green screen. It covered it up. Now, I've showed you what the pencil does. If I click on the pencil, you guys know what these options are. So I'm going to go right here and say, no, I don't want to do any of that. Cancel. If I click on the FX, you know I can make them black and white or any color I want. But right now, the one I want to show you is if I click on it and go to the one that's in the middle, I have fade options. So right now, what I want is I want you to be able to see him. So right now, I want to move this green line. This green line, if I move it up and down. So right now, let's move it out. I want you to see him. So I'm going to move this one here. I'm going to grab the other one, go up. And then what I want you guys to do is you want you guys to be able to see him and then see the girl. So right now, watch how this works. So right now, what is he thinking about? And you see the fading away. You have him looking out the window. What is he thinking about? And then right now, <laughs> I can have so much fun with this. Okay, so right now he's pointing. What is he pointing at? I'm going to move the girl in a little bit to be more that way. But you see right now, what is he thinking about? And as she goes on, she's moved on. She's in a better place. That guy was no good for her. The novella is going to take a different spin now. Now, right now, I don't need that all that stuff in the, in the back. I don't need all that extra stuff. So right now, I'm going to click right here. I want my video to end here, and I'm going to go up to where the scissors are or the tijeras. If I click on the tijeras, I cut it, and then I click on the object I want to delete and just click on the trash can or hit delete on my keyboard. One more time. Anytime I want the video to be cut or edited, click on the video, click on the tijeras or, tra or the scissors, and when you cut it, it'll split it up, and you can just delete the part you don't want. Now, what I want right now is a couple things. Right now, I need some music. I need this to be sad. How do I add music? I click up here where it says audio. In the audio, let's look at the premium one. Remember, we have all the buttons, all the facts. Um, I'm going to go sentimental, and let's see what we have. Perfect. Let's drop this in here. So right now, I have this song here, and let's go through the, uh, the novella. We got part one done. Part one is to make three layers. So we did audio adds the visual. If you don't ever think about the saddest song you've ever heard, most of the time you can hear it, but you can also see it visually or romantic song. I'm sorry. Video one is the pizza dough. It's the layer on the bottom. It's the one that you want to see. Layer two is the thing that's on top. As you think of the pizza, every layer goes up. Now I asked you, so there's a couple things I wanted to do. So I'm going to double click. I want him when he's pointing. I'm going to move him a little bit. When he's pointing, I want him to be pointing at her. Okay, that's part one. Now, the other thing I haven't showed you to is the one that's next to it called animation. This took me a while to figure out. It's going to start wherever you say it starts, but the ending is the power. I want to zoom in on his face. I want you to see he's longing for her. I want you to zoom in on his face. So watch what I'm going to do now. Now that I have the video like that, you're going to see that he's going to get bigger because there's movement. It's like zooming in the camera to see the la lagrima coming down on the face. So watch. See how it's zooming in? The song's playing. What's he thinking about? It's her and how happy she is and how he shouldn't have let her go. And now we have that whole thing where you have that. Now, I'm going to tell you where this could be powerful. Right now, I know right now, end of the year video is coming out for me. 
So what I do sometimes and what I'm doing right now is the kids are, can't be in the classrooms. So what I've done is taking pictures of the classrooms that are empty and the teachers are missing the kids. And so what we're doing is we're having the kids and the, you know, we have pictures of them during the school year and the picture is fading away till it's empty. And then we're sending in a message of hope at the end of seeing the teachers talking to the student, they fade in. So right now, no, that fade in and fade out adds that moment of like, oh, I feel that. And you see how quickly I was able to do that through that. Those instructions are in there in the website that I gave you. So right now, Instagram means to make it colorful, black and white, right? I can make him black and white. How do I make him black and white? Click on him and then go to FX. So right now, when you click on the object, you want to edit, click on the app, click on the object and then go to FX. And on the FX option right here, when you click on FX, it'll bring up the menu to figure out what you want to do with the effects. And there's a ton of them. But right now, if I wanted to be black and white, I click on that, it automatically applies it, and I'm ready to go. And now, you, oh, I made the wrong one. I made the girl black. Oh, it's okay, it's a memory. So she's in black and white now. And then if I really wanted to go here, right here, this last part, I'm gonna do something different. On this last part right here, just to add that she's happier, I'm gonna click here fx and she's going to be happy because she's going to go oops click here go to fx i'm going to make her show she's happy because i'm going to make her go to color when um when the the guy's gone so let's go uh oh no it's not turned on she's she's going to go to color so yeah there she did okay so right now watch so once he's gone and she's no longer part of his life she he was bad for her he was a bad this is a, this is a bad novella for him but right now when it's doing it and remember it's all web based so sometimes this will happen where it's rendering for you is it'll go to color from that while we wait for that let me make sure you guys know where all the stuff is here so you guys even see right here it's a different novella right here but i have the novella for him right here you see right here i'm under instagram effect if you wanted to know how I made him move under the Ken Burns effect, Ken Burns, I call it because it's how it is in iMovie. Ken Burns effect is where you are able to make the screen move and go forward. So when we were zooming in on his face, that's the animation. You have that in the Ken Burns effect. Now, just to make sure you guys know, there's a video under each of these. Each section has a video on how to do this with your students or how to do it for you. So make sure after you get the website, know that this is the instructions, but this is the video. If you wanna do this in a class project, let me give you the game that we use. So right down here where there is like these dice, one of the things here that I love, this is a game that another teacher created. If you click on the dice, this is a board game. So if the kids wanna create a video, they have to right now know these are all the bingo board game. They have to create an account, they have to make sure any of those always help buttons here that the kids can go through. They have to make a recording. They have to clip. These instructions are all these instructions are all there for the kids to be able to go through and do that. So right now, um, this game board here is under the end of the on the web page. It's not a site. You got to click on this here. So right now, that click on that, and that'll take you to this game board. If you want to know all the things I did, I got about four minutes with you guys. All the stuff that I did that I just showed you that I know I'm just flying through it. It's the green screen one is right here. The Instagram effect is right here. And the Ken Burns effect, which is the movement, is there. If you want to get started, if you're like, hey, how do I log in? How do I create an account? If you click on here, I literally take you through the things you have to do. But I'm going to tell you, um, oh, no, this is a storyboard uh, uh, timeline. If you want to sign up for WeVideo, it's on the home page. Now, I'm going to tell you, though, before you do that, if you want the free account, all the access to all the buttons, make sure you click on this and fill out the information to be able to get the free account. Otherwise, you can just follow these steps. Click on Google use the free account so right now i say no charge i show you where the button is and then you right now you're getting started and i tell you get started by clicking on this and then from there choose if you want timeline or if you want storyboard it remember all this works on a chromebook so my focus right now is to make you understand that if you've got a chromebook you have to use web-based apps to make it work. Right now, if you have um, a Mac, you guys know what iMovie is. Um, if you have Windows, I don't know what their movie thing is, but right now know that this is Wii Video. I have a Mac, but I use Wii Video for effects, especially the green screen effects are so much easier on Wii Video than it is on a Mac. On a Mac, it's not the easiest thing for this. Now, I want you guys to know on the bottom, 
I also gave you an email address. You can send questions to me. So right now, no, oh, this is like how to get started literally with everything that they ask you. But here is a different email address than I've shared. This one is the one that I use for WeVideo. And the reason I use for WeVideo is the kids get this one too. It's one that I use just to make sure I check to see if there are questions about video. This is a separate account for that. The bottom one is a Google phone number. I want to say if you really, really are stuck, that's something that's on there. This is made for kids. You notice this website is kid-based because of that. So right there, just know if you have a question, I want you to know WeVideo is very user-friendly. So everything I just showed you, I know I went fast because it's easy. Push the button. If the button reacts, you, you, you can figure it out right away. I try to use keywords on that, but know right there you have my contact info if you have it. If you don't have this website, you might be lost. So make sure you have this website before I finish. Make sure you have that bit.ly we video for all. And know right now, the kids can do this. They can play with this and they can figure out. And I'm going to tell you right now, some of the best videos I didn't teach. Some of the best videos kids have done. I'm like, what? How did you do that? And then they love showing me because for them, it's about creation. So just know, play with the buttons, do with it. It's easier, hopefully, than you thought. And I want to uh, stop right now because I know <laughs> Donnie just came in. But I, I just talked the whole time because I'm really excited. But know that website has everything you might need. All right. I'm going to stop sharing so we can go back. Yeah, no, that was awesome, George. Thank you so much. I've used WeVideo a little bit, but I was taking notes. Like, I definitely learned some new tricks there. So that was so fun. I love the novella. That mm -hmm. was fabulous. Um, we've had people saying, like, Ana Luisa, you're a super fan. She's a que divertida sesión. Uh, Maria del Rosario, bien, George. Ah, mira, tenemos Darren saludando de nuevo. <laughs> I don't know what Darren's doing. Is he presenting next? Is, is he the next yeah, guy? He just always finds you, George. Darren is amazing. Yeah. I love, thank you, Darren, for coming all the way to Mexico. Oh, we're, wait, we're in Mexico, right? Well, I'm in Mexico, but people are all over the place. Okay. Uh, we have Dora saying, felicitaciones, George. Uh, great expl explanation. She has lots of ideas that she hadn't considered before that she could do with video. Um, and it's not as hard as she thought it was. So that was fun. Um, and then we also have Lydia is asking, um, can you use this on an iPad as well as Chrome? Yes, but Anana, and because the iPad, I sometimes struggle um, remember I, Apple, and I hopefully you don't get you guys in trouble for saying this. Apple doesn't like playing with anyone. Apple plays with Apple. So Apple, even though the app is made by Wii video, it doesn't give you all the access that the Chrome one does. So this is the one time where the la computadora is more powerful than the iPad. So some of the things are a little funky that I don't like, um, uh, because Apple wants you to use iMovie. So just know that frustrates me. So, and it, but for us, it's not an issue because my kids don't have iPads. They have Chromebooks. So the Chromebook function is always easier, especially when you're doing the layers. So I know I'm going to tell you right now, um, one of the kids video, he showed it to me once had like 50 layers because he had all the special effects. I don't recommend that, but if the kid wants to do that, because he had, he had all these different effects. So he had, um, uh, um, I, I gotta, I just have to show you, I, he's going to put it on YouTube, but it was an amazing piece of work, but that's, that's an extreme. Yeah, no kidding. Um, Lydia was also asking, because you said it's free right now until June 30th, but then afterwards it's $5 per month, or what is what was the cost or something? Wait, what is that 300 What does that mean? I'm not sure. So I'm not sure if Lydia was looking at a different... Um, okay, so again, I hope you don't get in trouble for saying this. So we, so we bought uh, a 30 licenses, which is pretty cheap, and what you can do with WeVideo is you can share... So like if a kid's not working on Wii video, you can take the license and give it to another kid and switches their account to a free account. The paid account gives you options for everything on the free account. You can still use it, but it won't let you download the special effects. But on the paid version, you get all the options. So with 30, with the, with how many students we have, we just rotate the licenses and What's we say, you know what? Dominic doesn't need it right now. Jorge needs it. Jorge gets it. But then let's say Dominic comes back and goes, Oh, I want to finish that project. I take the license from Jorge and give it to Dominic. It's amazing that way. Another thing with the paid accounts is I can drop everything to a shared uh, 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 library and everyone can pull. So when we take a field trip, everyone's taking pictures or videos. 
they can put it in that shared library and everyone can pull from there. It doesn't have to be from a drive. Okay. No, that's an awesome way to use it. Um, so then Dora had a couple of questions and she even put it in a summary for us because she was asking during the chat. Okay. Dora um, has been joining us from Facebook and says, which application are you using for effects in Screencastify if you were doing effects there? Or she was also asking like, what were the filters you were using at the beginning? Okay, so the, the filters I'm using is called Snap Camera. So Snap Camera allows me to go through. Um, so actually, let me share my screen. How much time do we have? Is someone else waiting? Um, I'm the next presenter, so take oh, as much time. Oh, as well. okay. I don't want to. Okay, so let me tell you. Let me show you behind the scenes. Okay, so Snap Camera. Aquí está Snap Camera. So Snap Camera. Right now, aquí. Oh, so weird to see myself. Okay, Snap Camera. I I I downloaded this as my virtual camera. So right now I'm going to tell you, so like if I want to tell the kids a story, here's my red bird. Oh, that's so weird. I can see the thing going off into space, but red bird is right there. I have my, uh, the Dia de los Muertos face. I have uh, a Sandia. The kids love the Sandia face. Uh, but right now all these are through Snap Camera. When I find something that I like, I go through, this one's going to freak you out, but I go through this one and then I can click on the little star <laughs> and put it on there. So this is the girl, <laughs> yes, the girl version of me. But right now you can click on them by going. Let's look for another one that doesn't make me look like this. So let's say I want to be the 12-inch ruler. Okay. I I click on the star, it goes up to my favorites. And then up here I have all these filters I can go through right away and I can switch quickly through all of them all. So right now that's how I'm able to go use this. So if you go to Snap Camera, let me go quickly where you can go through this. If you go to Snap, just look Google search Snap Camera. And then the one thing about this, though, is that you have to know when I click download, it only works for, um, so I'm going to click on this. Don't give it your email. Say you're not a robot. But notice down here, it's only for Mac and for PC. So no, it doesn't work on Chromebooks, which is a bad thing and a good thing because that means the kids can't use this. So only you can use this. But if you have a Chromebook, the camera can't um, function that. And then no, it's one of the problems with uh, Chromebooks that it doesn't have the memory to do that. We have to use web-based apps for that. So just know that's basically how I did that whole thing where I'm able to do this really fast. Um, the I, I, I mean, seriously, it's just the filters. It's not me. It's the filters that let me tell the story. And then that way the kids get engaged, especially with the way the kids are going right now. If they're not, they're not laughing, then sometimes they're not even paying attention. So. <laughs> yeah, no, it's so true. Thank you. One last question, George. Dora was also asking, do you know of any sites with free music and videos? Uh, YouTube. YouTube. So, so literally search YouTube for uh, free, um, royalty-free copyright, because that's where you're going to run into the problem. If you put your video on YouTube and it has music or on there, people put stuff on there. So if I do a Google, I mean, a YouTube search, when I'm in YouTube, type in uh, royalty-free and people are trying to get their music out there, that's where you can pull that from. So okay. that's, that, awesome. that's where I would give. Awesome. Well, it looks like you're dreaming of um, Sandia there. The funny thing about this is I hate Sandia, but the kids love this one. So if it's for the kids, you got to do it for them. You know, it's got to. Awesome. I'm going to go ahead and invite Lula so you can say hi. Oh, wait, are you, wait, what are you using? You're, you're on mute, Lula. You're muted. You're muted. This is the way you have to unmute yourself to talk. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> wow, Lula, what kind of George are you? Es mi sala de, lo, de mis sueños. Yes. No, you so. shouldn't have said that. You should have just said that is your sala and we would have believed you. Yeah, it's I know. Good. Wait, what are you using? It's uh, the green screen from StreamYard. Ah. And I have a green wall in my house, so. <laughs> That's what we, I know people think, oh, I need this for the effects. No, this is so yeah. you don't see my kids walking all over the place. So <laughs> it's a barrier. That is awesome. Well, thank you so much, George, for being with us again today. Yesterday, you were helping out Susan. We appreciate that. Have fun with your keynote tomorrow or your yes. session. I know you have something going on tomorrow. So thank you so much. Oh, no problem. And then Ana Luisa, I see you. I'll see you again tomorrow. I'm so excited for what you're going to become. You're a super teacher because you're here all the time. So all the time. She is. Yeah. So hire her. If you don't, then she's already. I, work, I work with her, actually. <laughs> oh, okay. So she's amazing. So thank you, Ana Luisa.
Thank you, George, for sharing all your, all, all your knowledge without being, uh, ¿cómo se dice? Egoísta eh, de todo lo que sabes. Gracias. Nadie sabe todo. Lo más que yeah. tú das, más regresas. Exacto. Okay. Muchísimas gracias, George, por todo lo que nos has compartido. Mañana okay. está el maestro acá en México. <risa> sí, verdad. Ok, gracias. Bye. Nos vemos, George. Bye, bye. Hola, Dom. Hola, Lula, ¿cómo estás? Bien, bien. Pues la siguiente presentadora creo que no necesita mucha introducción. Es una de nuestras estrellas de nivel A. Eh, Dom, ¿nos vas a hablar de? De las herramientas de para los alumnos que están aprendiendo inglés. Muy bien. Vamos a poner el clip en lo que compartes pantalla, ¿va? Súper, muy bien. <risa> 